Hey, what's going on you guys? Joe here, and today I have an After Effects tutorial on how to make the screen sort of pump and flash uh, like this. As you can see, um, it looks really nice. You can't hear the music because it's coming through my headphones right now. And um, also, I just want to say a quick thank you for how well this, um, this little mini edit was received. That was extremely encouraging, and that's why I'm making this video right now, because it got over 10 likes. So, um, yeah, if a video gets over 10 likes, then I'll post one the next day. Unless I'm super busy, but normally I'm not, since it's winter break. But anyways, let's get into After Effects. And um, first off, what you're going to want to do is set the points on your, uh, on your um, song where you want it to pump and flash using these markers and I'm assuming you already know how to do that if you don't then um, I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial ready to go on that one on my hard drive somewhere but if not I'll make one so if you don't know how to do that just request it in the comment section below and I've already added a, an, um, a nice color correction to this but anyways let's get into it so what you're gonna want to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and next you want to go to effect and generate CC light burst 2.5 and that's pretty intense so you just want to change the ray length down to zero and then move up to the point in your clip where you want it to pump and flash so I'm gonna hit the keyframe button uh, or I'm gonna drop this menu down on ray length I'm gonna hit the keyframe button and have it set at zero and then move one frame forward and change the ray length to it kinda of depends on how you want it I'm gonna change it to about 35 it depend um, it kinda of depends on what you want it to look like and it is all personal preference so yeah I'll just have it at 35 and then you want to move it kinda of depends on where or how much time in between pumps, pump flash sort of thing you have. So I'm gonna put it right down to there or right there and change that to zero. And then what you can do is just copy these keyframes using control or command C depending if you're on PC or Mac. And then just make sure you're at the right point and not one keyframe or one frame too far or behind and um, yeah j just continually do that and uh, you'll see that's what it will do and also if you want to what you can do is on the adjustment layer as well you can hit scale and or not on the adjustment layer sorry so we'll just put that back up to 100 on the clip that you want if you want it to pump a little bit more you can just change the um, here let's see all you want to do is just change the scale so keyframe there one frame forward and then uh, just pump it up a bit maybe about 10 things higher or something kinda depends again personal preference and yeah and also guys I hope my mic sounds alright I'm using my turtle beaches that I got for Christmas so um, I hope there's not too much, um, I don't know how to say it, uh, pop when I say like H's and P's and stuff. And uh, yeah, so if there is, I'm sorry I won't use this mic uh, if it doesn't sound good. So yeah, and then just continually copy and paste these onto your project. Oops, no. Nope you want to copy these frames and then just do the same thing as before and you'll see you get that nice little uh, pop and flash in your project so guys um, if this tutorial helped you out then make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and again leave any more um, uh, tutorial suggestions in the comment section below. Alright guys, uh, have a nice day.